a decision by IRS bureaucrats, politically appointed bureaucrats, to go after the growing uh, Tea Party movement uh, and deny them 501c4 status, a legal status, so they couldn't get a bank account and, and legally raise money and have one or two staffers and rent a little office and, and grow into state uh, institutions. Uh, Tea Party started in 2009, uh, just a couple months into the Obama administration. And I would have told you at the time that it couldn't happen, that I've been working in the taxpayer movement for a long time, and I knew from experience the American people will rise up against a tax increase. Proposition 13 against property taxes in California, Kemp Roth, the increases in income taxes nationally, Proposition 2.5, Massachusetts, Proposition 13, property tax revolt. Um, they didn't revolt during the previous 10 to 15 years when spending got out of hand and then taxes went, rose to meet yeah. it. They waited until taxes increased. So I thought we were going to have to wait until Obama would spend a lot of money and I would go, hey, look at that. And everyone yeah. would go, oh, that's yeah. not a problem. And then as soon as taxes were raised, they go, hey, now it's a problem. Yeah. The American people sensed that all that spending was going to lead to massive tax increases and didn't wait for the tax hikes. Tax hikes followed, but the, the Tea Party came first. It was the first anti-spending movement in American history. There are lots of tax revolts. First anti-spending movement that I can find. And when they did that, uh, they had maybe 600 to 1,000 rallies that we could document uh, around the country. It's a wonderful study that AEI um, put yeah. out with some Harvard and University of Sweden Stockholm. I obviously think it's wonderful as one of the co-authors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, it, this I thought was very powerful because there was a study that said, look, here's where you had a Tea Party rally and here's where you're going to have a Tea Party rally, but it got rained out. What was the difference in voter turnout and money raised for political campaigns and numbers of volunteers and future attendance at demonstrations? And they were estimating that between uh, three and six million additional votes came out for Republicans in 2010, beyond what you otherwise would have expected yep. because of the rallies themselves. And if you think about it, the left's always doing rallies. When I was yep. younger, I thought, that's because they don't have jobs. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> um, why do they go to rallies? Or, you yeah. know, well, you meet people at rallies. You get a sense of belonging. You realize you're not alone. You say, I'm part of a movement. This is bigger than me. Um, you have friends You and your local friends. You get together. It, it, it does. It, I mean, I think one, one remarkable finding is indeed how local these effects are, right? Because a, a part of the, the narrative the left had about the Tea Party movement was that it was, you know, it was astroturf. Um, it was, you know, it was kind of organized from D.C. by evil billionaires. Uh, um, and I think that the massive sort of local variation driven by rally turnout, driven by, you know, local weather on a, on a day yeah. of a scheduled rally, I think shows you how, how organic uh, a lot of it was. And, and at first, the Obama administration poo-pooed it. Remember, the president said he didn't watch any of the rallies, didn't yeah. know anything about it. I got calls from grown-ups in the media saying, so you and Exxon are doing this, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, they, they weren't being silly. They, 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 they thought I'd organized it with some Fortune 500 company. This is before the Cokes got famous. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Exxon yeah. Mobil. Yeah. And, um, and I, you'd say, actually, no. <laughs> I, we're trying to find all these guys because we'd love to work with them, yeah. but we've never seen many of them before. And I went to some of the early rallies, and people would say, how many have ever been to a political rally before? And, 10 to 15% of the people would raise their hands. These yep. were people who had never done this before. 